Hello there. I wanted to say a few words today about falling in love and sex. And uh, falling in love can be such an amazing experience. And a lot of us have already happened to have fallen in love at some point in our lives, perhaps several times. And uh, it can be such an exciting experience. We have all sorts of hormones rushing through our body. And uh, we truly can feel as though we've met the one, as it were. And I wanted to just say a few things to say under the Safe Relationship Training Umbrella about falling in love and sex so that we can put it in the context of our personal growth. And uh, as you know, I like talking of, about Safe Relationship Training in terms of our personal growth because it is so important for us to be happy and healthy so that we can put that energy into our personal growth and we can grow, we can evolve, we can raise our consciousness and move to another level. But if we engage in situations that are detrimental to us and to our personal growth, then that can take us off track sometimes and we can feel as though we're putting all our energy into these negative situations and uh, relationships and, and we don't seem to have time to put into our own life and our own growth anymore because all our consciousness is going towards these negative situations and that can feel quite frustrating, particularly if we're not able to change that situation. So I wanted to say today uh, regarding sex, falling in love, that it can be overwhelming sometimes. When we meet the one, there's strong sexual attraction, possibly, and we can possibly feel as though we really want to put all our eggs in one basket, including our sexuality. And the point I just wanted to make very quickly today was to say that our sexuality is very precious. It's part of our being. And that if we do that, when we engage in sexual activity really early on, it can be quite misleading because our body could be convinced that this person is the only one that's going to make us feel all these wonderful feelings. And we could include in that our emotionality, our psychology, and whatever else we throw in the basket along with that because we're putting all our power into that person, all our hope into that person, and potentially our future as well. So when we stand back, we have conscious awareness, and we say, hold on a minute, I'm not gonna go down that road anymore, I've done that before, I'm just going to stand back and see who this person is, see if it's beneficial for me and supportive of my life, before I throw my sexuality in there and whatever else I've got as well. So that's one safe relationship training tip and a personal growth tip for you. So as always, stay safe and very happy. Bye-bye.